I hate how much they make you use your phone in Disney World now. That is the one complaint we hear more than any other. But is it even possible to come to Disney World without using your phone anymore? We're about to find out. And we're gonna start our Magic Kingdom day together like we have several times before by rope dropping Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Because we can't use our phones today, that means we can't use the My Disney Experience app. And because we can't use the My Disney Experience app, we can't use Genie Plus, which means we can't make Lightning Lane reservations and we can't purchase an individual Lightning Lane reservation, which as we know, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is the ride in Magic Kingdom where you're allowed to purchase that individual Lightning Lane re reservation. I did check this morning um, and they were still available as of a couple minutes ago and they cost $10 today. So that's something we're missing out on, but we're also saving $10, which is cool. And we'll see how long it takes to get through that line. Of course, we're here half an hour after resort guests have been allowed inside. Oh, it's 70 minutes. Okay, the estimated wait is 70 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and make the call to get in this line, even though that is a long wait. It's shorter than what it might be later on today. Maybe not by a lot, but something. Save a little time. So no tip board in the phone and also no mobile order. So if we want to have lunch, which we're gonna wanna have lunch, we have to actually get in a standby line and, uh, and wait to order and then wait for our food to be prepared. Just like the old days. It's fun. This is what we all asked for a world without Genie Plus, without having to be on our phones all day in Disney World, and we're gonna live it together and see what it's really like. I just wanna add that even though, yes, I'm filming myself with my phone, while I'm waiting in this queue, I'm also being conscious of putting my phone away and keeping it in my pocket and not checking it every five minutes. It's especially hard because I'm alone in line, so all I have to occupy my time is looking around at the beauty and splendor of Walt Disney World. Okay, maybe there really is something to this no phone in Walt Disney World thing. Look what I noticed by keeping my eyes open and looking around. This cool hidden speaker. Magical. Stop it. Another hidden speaker. Only 22 minutes and we're about to walk inside. This is a very good sign. 32 minutes we're being sorted into our rows. I'm row six. Let's go. posted wait time was 70. That's half of what the posted wait time was. Very good start to our day. But now you know what we have to do because I can't open my phone and look at the My Disney Experience app and check out the tip board or the wait times map or list. We're gonna have to go find a physical tip board and decide where we're gonna go next. Well, we didn't have to walk far to find one. Right over here by Enchanted Tales with Belle. And on the other side here is Prince Charming Regal Carousel. We have a tip board and let's check out these wait times. Dumbo, the flying elephant is 15. It's a small world is 15. Mad Tea Party's five. That's a classic. Uh, meet Ariel at a grotto at 10. Oh my gosh. Okay, Seven, Day Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is posted now at 50. It's gone down. 15 is good for Small World. Big Thunder Mountain's 25, that's good too. Haunted Mansion gets up to 50 and an hour. Very regularly, it's posted at 15 right now, but so is Haunted Mansion, and Haunted Mansion's on the way. And also, Peter Pan is, 
seeming to be a little forlorn walking. Oh, I see he's interacting with his shadow. I won't bother him, but I just wanted to point out that that was happening. Um, let's go stop at Haunted Mansion. I neglected to comprehend the sign of literally seeing Peter Pan next to the tip board and that it is only a 45 minute wait right now to get on Peter Pan's flight, which is good for Peter Pan's flight and won't even necessarily be that long. We'll set the, uh, the timer and, and see. But you know, it's very common for this whole part of the queue to be full. And uh, it's not right now. than 45. Magical. standby queue for Peter Pan's flight in the past. So I think that's um, another exciting win for those of us choosing to weather Walt Disney World without using our phones. Now we've got to find another tip board or actually we're right next door to Haunted Mansion and that was our plan to go there. Walking by, it's a small world we can see. Posted 30 right now. That's not terrible for It's a Small World, but it's not great either. I think we can, we can catch it lower later. Okay, so Haunted Mansion, which was posted at 15 before we rode Peter Pan's flight, is now at 50 minutes, 5-0. And uh, that's a lot longer than 15 minutes. So let's check in with the tip board. I know where one of them is in Frontierland. And we're gonna head that way anyway to probably get on, I'm thinking we're gonna ride Big Thunder Mountain, but again, that could have shot up. Um, in which case, maybe we check out what's on the lower end and walk somewhere else. And this is what it was like in the old days. All right, right over here across from Country Bear Jamboree, one of my favorite shows in Walt Disney World, we have a digital tip board. Big Thunder's at 30. Okay, that's not bad. Jungle Cruise is actually at 45. Let's go to Jungle Cruise at 45. Okay, that's what we're doing. And it seems like, oh wow, we're all the way in Frontierland. It's gonna be such a long walk to get around. Well, don't forget the magical crossovers. There's several of them between Frontierland and Adventureland. And it's like shoots and ladders. You end up in magically the place you wanna be much faster than if you took the main path. It still says 45. The standby queue does start outside of the, the uh, inner queue, <laughs> the part that's themed, but um, this is pretty normal. An outfit. There are outfits. A lot of them. Hanging from the ceiling. Why are there so many outfits? Outfits. Outfits. Oh, there's some pants. Oh, there's a shirt. Oh, there's some underwear. Okay. Is, or do they feel so 
tree and one with the jungle that they disrobed and, and, and ran in and um, and they live there now completely off the grid. What's your what's your guess? Let us know in the comments. Could be another option too. Thank you. Now please remain seated with your hands, arms, seat, legs, and sun to both watch your children, children, watch your parents, know you're drinking, no more music. boarding 23 minutes after the originally posted wait time of 45 minutes uh, getting on at an hour and eight minutes so we lost a little of our time that we made up that we won this morning by getting on seven dwarfs mine train and peter pan's flight both a little bit early you know what's happening now i'm getting really hungry it's like the worst time to eat because it's prime time but maybe you'll get hungry the same time I will, and we don't have the added benefit of using mobile order, so we're gonna have to do things the old-fashioned way and get in line, and maybe we should see how long it takes at this hour. So it's 11.50 right now, 10 minutes before noon, and that is traditionally the busiest time to eat because everybody is here wanting to eat lunch at the same time. Everybody's gonna be crowding into one of the quick service restaurants, or if you had a reservation for a table service restaurant, that was a hard to get reservation because this is when people wanna eat. And I am no exception today. I am hungry now. Now here is another tip board just for reference. So right next door to Skipper Canteen, you can see you'll be able to use this tip board to see what time the posted wait times are for the various rides right now. Space Mountain's at 60 minutes. So things are not terrible today. This is not the busiest day. Uh, you can see Jungle Cruise has now been uh, posted as a 60 minute wait. And our experience was that it was even longer than that. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean is at 45. Magic Carpets of Aladdin is at 25. And Dumbo's at 35. It's a small world, 25, not bad. So there are some long waits, but um, it's not a wildly busy day. It doesn't look like from these current wait times. Casey's Corner is a restaurant that definitely uses mobile order. And we would encourage you to use mobile order here on a normal basis because it does go a lot faster. You don't have to stand in a line to order. You're able to order right away. Press a button that says you are here. They prepare your food and then you can pick it up. But today we're gonna set a timer and get in what is technically the standby line for ordering food. Wow, in two minutes, uh, we've gone inside and now are queued up in, in uh, line number two. All right, we have our food in all the whole experience from ordering to picking up our order took about 15 minutes. And instead of standing at the uh, standing tables, which actually they were all full, the only option that I had was going to be to eat on a trash can. And I thought, you know what? It's just a couple more feet yards to Tomorrowland Terrace which is a quick service restaurant, not currently in operation, but the seating is all open. So check out this situation we have found ourselves in. We have a covered dining room. I can feel air moving, so I believe those fans are on, or maybe it's just the breeze. And we have this ringside seat, kind of, for the Festival of Fantasy Parade and our really delicious food from Casey's Corner. So my advice, if it is noon and you're at Casey's Corner and you can't find a seat, cross the little street and come over here 
to Tomorrowland Terrace where there's plenty of room, plenty of breeze, plenty of shade. Yes, I'm having the plant-based slaw dog again. I had fries with them. <laughs> they come with fries. It comes with fries, but I consumed them very quickly. Along with the uh, free cup of ice water, I um, drank that very quickly. I'm being naughty and having a Coca-Cola. But look, Festival of Fantasy Parade. If the point of this whole video was for me to look up from my phone and discover the fact that you could very easily walk to Tomorrowland Terrace, sit and eat your lunch and catch the noon Festival of Fantasy Parade, I think that's a pretty good reason to do a video. Well, look at this tip board. This is a tip board with a view of Cinderella Castle. All right, let's see what we have coming up next. Big Thunder's 45. Jungle Cruise is 65 now. Magic Carpet's level Aladdin 35. What does that even say up there? It's kind of uh, not dirty, but has watermarks. Um, Town Square Theater Dumbo, the Flying Elephant is 10. Haunted Mansion is 75 minutes. Buzz Lightyear's Ranger, Space Ranger Spin 55. Monsters Inc. Lap for floor 15. Looked like Space Mountain was 40. I think that should be our move because Tomorrowland's right there. And 40 minutes is not too terribly bad for Space Mountain. Uh, many adventures of one of the Pooh's 45 minutes. So it is a, a busier day. But yeah, Space Mountain, 40 minutes. All right, let's do it. That's gonna be us pretty soon. If they ever change that video, it's a crime. But it's likely they'll probably change it at some point. Anyway, it's been 30 minutes and this is where we are. A reminder, if you are riding alone, the queue splits off up ahead and a little single rider queue starts and um, saves you some time getting on the ride, but odds are you're not traveling by yourself in Walt Disney World, so I am gonna go ahead and get in the regular line with everybody else, keep the timer rolling, and see how long it really takes to get on Space Mountain today without Genie Puck. We're actually having to tell how many we are, so, um, I did not obviously want to lie to a cast member and say I was more than a single writer. Um, I skipped about that much cue. So um, really, truly getting us here at about that five minute mark, I think we're 23 minutes <laughs> over the posted wait time once again. An hour and 13 minutes, that's how long it took us to get through the queue, the standby queue for Space Mountain. It was a posted wait time of 40 minutes, that's a 33 minute difference. That's a lot of time. Now, while we're here, I do wanna point out something very important about not using your phone in Walt Disney World. Something you absolutely cannot get around is the virtual queue in Disney World. Now, right now, this is just a couple of shrubs blocking a walkway, but on April 4th, this will be the entrance to the new Tron roller coaster, which will be using the virtual queue that's being utilized right now over in Epcot on Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Your only two options for riding Tron are literally by making a virtual queue reservation, get, getting your own place in line for that virtual queue, or by buying an individual Lightning Lane reservation both of which you can only do on your phone through the My Disney Experience app. So if you want to ride Tron for the foreseeable future, you're going to need your phone. One of the pluses of having to walk back in front of the castle to see what the wait times are. I will say I'm the only person looking at the tip boards every time I come up to one. <laughs> I think, or, am I the only person that uses tip boards, do you think? So let's see what might be next. Um, oh, the standby line for Mad Tea Party is 15 minutes now. So we're gonna get in this queue and ride Mad Tea Party. The last time I rode Mad Tea Party was with Frybucket on her No Sleep Challenge. And um, I miss her. It's kind of, it's a little lonely. Riding a bad tea party by yourself, but um, and it's 
especially fun with Fry Bucket because she's determined to go as quickly as possible, just like I am. Um, but in her honor, I'm going to make this number 11 teacup fly faster than anything you've ever seen before. And in 14 minutes, that's one minute less than the posted wait time. I know that's not a lot, but it's something. We got to ride Mad Tea Party. We got teacup number 11. Supposedly, it is the fastest teacup. That is what I've been told by multiple cast members. And we really put that teacup to good use. Hopefully, going as fast as humanly possible <laughs> with one person. Now, let's head over to Storybook Circus next door because instead of walking somewhere to find a tip board, I think we should just look and see how long the current, the current posted wait time for Dumbo is. And also Barnstormer. All right, we are seeing 40 minutes as a, uh, standby wait time. Let's go over to Barnstormer and see what they're projecting now. I can see from here Barnstormer is 35 right now. So that's too long. Meeting Ariel right now, there's a 35 minute standby wait. Under the Sea Journey, the Little Mermaid is showing a 40 minute standby wait. Enchanted Tales with Belle is showing a 40 minute wait for standby. Ooh. Tomorrowland Speedway? The standby wait that is posted is 10 minutes. We are definitely going to take advantage of that. They do accept Lightning Lane reservations. It's only 10 minutes. We're doing this. All right. Number one. successful Tomorrowland Speedway trip. Nine minutes in queue to get on that. That is some good time for that ride. I've actually spotted across the way that Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin now has a, a, a posted standby wait of 30 minutes. Um, that's just 20 minutes less than it was a little while ago, but that's making me feel hopeful. Maybe it's shorter than that. So I think we should go ahead and get in line, start the timer and see how long it is and take advantage of even the fact that it's dropped by 20 minutes. I just want to remind you for a second that this is the same sign as Delta Dream Flight. Posted wait time for Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin was 30 minutes. Actual time, we waited 31 minutes. Pretty darn good. And now it's time to find a tip board because I have no idea what to do next. Just got word that Pirates of the Caribbean is 
down right now under the siege. Let's go watch the monsters in Clafloor. Six and a half minutes and we're entering the pre-show area. I was just telling the humans that we're after the laughter these days, not this greed. Come on, move it along, people. I feel like I'm always hyping Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, saying it's really funny. And then I think back on it and go, was it as funny as I thought? Or do I just like sitting down in an air-conditioned theater and uh, hearing jokes of any kind? No, I am here to tell you that show is very funny. Very funny. And it is live, but animated. And you should definitely take time to check it out. They do accept Lightning Lane reservations for that. That's one of the reasons we prioritized it today. And um, it was posted 15 minute wait and we got to the pre-show in seven minutes. So it's up to you to decide if it's worth using a Lightning Lane reservation for that or not. Guess where we are headed again? Yes, the tip board and the hub. Because there's no place like home. I think we should go to Dumbo and Barnstormer at 30 and 25 minutes respectively. We'll head over to Storybook Circus and get those two done. And I think we're all our dreams are coming true is what I think is happening. I think our dream of having a day without a phone is turning out to be a really fun day where we get to do everything we want to do. Oh wow, Merida. What's Merida? <laughs> well, she's a good time. <laughs> Still posted at 30 minutes. I think we should do. I think we should believe and soar. Dumbo the Flying Elephant posted at 30 minutes. We actually boarded in 32 minutes. So not too bad. And now we're walking next door to see what's going on at Barnstormer. It was posted at 25, which is a little longer than I'd like to wait in line for Barnstormer. It's a very short ride, shockingly thrilling. And it says it's still posted at 25. That's all right, we're right here. We're gonna get in this queue and we're gonna ride Barnstormer. Well, that means we have to head back to a tip board. Um, let's head back to the tip board in fantasy land and decide what's next. We've got a lot of options. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, Modern Mansion, Magic Carpets of Aladdin, hopefully Pirates of the Caribbean has reopened, but we can't check our phones to find out. We've got to go to the tip board. This is what we signed up for. This is what we wanted, remember? <sighs> Careful what you wish for. You might just get it. Yikes, look at the lightning lane return for Peter Pan's flight now. That's the lightning lane return. Exactly. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Okay, um, Haunted Mansion's 50. Still not ideal. 
Pirates of the Caribbean is back open. It's 20 minutes. We're going there now. I, I have a feeling this is going to be our first situation where by the time we get there, the wait time is going to shoot up from 20 minutes to 40 or 50, especially because it's been closed for a good portion of the day. So there are people, there's a backup of Lightning Lane reservations that need to be used, but we'll see. Cutting by the side of the castle. Walking briskly, not running. <laughs> There's a slamming door situation behind me that did scare me, I will be honest. I'm using the whole shortcut. I'm going behind ye old Christmas shoppy, so you know I'm serious. Breed love means business. Do you know about this secret bridge that goes between Liberty Square and the entrance to Adventureland? Now you do. And did you know it's all part of a path that connects all the way to the right side of Cinderella Castle if you're facing out from it or looking at it from behind, or on the left if you're facing the front. Why did it suddenly get empty over here? Is a miracle happening? Is it still 20 minutes? There's no line outside. Oh. This is the most excited I've been all day. Okay, this is the moment of truth. It's, it's up to 30 minutes. It jumped up 10 minutes from the tip board all the way over in Fantasyland. We got across the park in some pretty good time and it only went up 10 minutes in the meantime. I don't know if it's because we just walked so quickly, but this feels like the best air conditioning I've felt all day. What ride or attraction do you think has the best air conditioning? of the Caribbean. Posted wait time 30 minutes. We pretty much walked on in four minutes. Really, that was really nice. It was a nice gift to receive today. And now I'm thinking instead of walking to a tip board, maybe we walk to Big Thunder because we've got to ride Big Thunder. And it kind of doesn't matter how long the wait is. The wait hasn't been too terrible at any point today so you know what I'm gonna guess that it's 45 and I'm gonna say let's just get in line and see what happens Tiana's Bayou Adventure in progress very exciting sad to see Splash Mountain go but definitely looking forward to new adventures with Tiana. It's a little better than I thought. It's uh, 40 minutes.
Big Thunder Mountain Railroad posted at 40 minutes when we entered. Ended up waiting 54 minutes, 14 minutes longer than posted. But that was a fun ride. And you know, I love Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, classic. All right, you know what we should do now? Walk straight ahead and go to Haunted Mansion. It doesn't matter how long the line is at this point. We're gonna get in it and we're gonna get spooked. Haunted Mansion on a full moon. Who do I think I am? Okay, it's still posted 30. I wonder, I wonder if this will be real. Or if we'll be terrified by how long the line really is. <laughs> Haunted Mansion posted wait time 30 minutes, and we were in the pre-show in 16 minutes. Now, clearly they're shooting fireworks off of the roof <laughs> or something. <laughs> this is very, very loud. Um, it's kind of fun, but we don't have a lot of time to enjoy it because we're gonna cut across <laughs> back here. <laughs> to Fantasyland and ride as a small world. All right, 10 minute posted standby. Let's start the clock. This is a walk-on. Walk-on, walk-on, just one. Go four, awesome. Oh, the boat. Oh, There's the brand new animatronic who uses a wheelchair. I love that inclusion key moment. Thank you, Disney. It's a Small World is looking good. And there was a posted wait of 10 minutes. And we walked right on. There was a boat waiting for us, literally. And let's continue this winning streak in Fantasyland and head to the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. What do you say? It's tricked me before, but right now it's saying 20 minutes. So let's join the throngs of people getting in queue for this ride. posted at 20 minutes and it took us 19. Pretty accurate. 
Let's go up and around New Fantasyland. Are we still calling it New Fantasyland? It's, it's been a minute. Um, but let's go ride under the sea journey of the Little Mermaid. It's five minutes. Let's do it. Setting the timer. Magic is a priority for us tonight because of the fact that you can book a Lightning Lane reservation for it. And we want to show all the things we were able to do without our phone, without Lightning Lanes and individual Lightning Lanes and all the stuff you do with your phone in Disney World these days, kids. 15 minutes. Well, I'll set the timer and we'll see. Magic posted at 15 minutes. We got in there in five and it was great. <clears throat> Gosh, I love that movie, especially now that they added Coco. All right, back to the tip board because we're almost done. We've got to get on Magic Carpets of Aladdin. That is the last ride that we have to ride Adventureland. Carpets of Aladdin, 10 minute wait. Let's cross the park and do it. And guess what? We're gonna use our, our little side to the right side of the castle path and get all the way there very quickly, I believe. All right, it's still posted 10 minutes. Let's start the timer and see how long it really takes. Looking kind of walk on like and getting Heavy duty walk on vibes. Under two minutes, and we're already looking for a carpet. This is very exciting, and looks like we found one. Don't forget to go all the way up if you don't want to get squirted by the golden camel. If you do want to get squirted by the golden camel, lower yourself down here. Oh gosh, pick out my leg. Wow, twice spit on by the golden camel. Totally worth it. Um, I'm wet. I also have some of that special camel water in my eye, I think. Oh, is this gonna be a cool thing where we watch my right eye uh, be red? Magic carpets of Aladdin, how fun was that? Unexpectedly fun at night, um, especially when you let yourself get spit on and it was a posted wait of 10 minutes. We walked onto it in uh, about two minutes. So that was great. Now we are in the zone where we're gonna be riding rides uh, for extra because they're not rides that accept Lightning Lane reservations, but they are rides. And we wanna ride all the rides in Magic Kingdom today if we can with no, no tricks, no phone, no My Disney Experience app. No lightning lane, no individual lightning lane. So let's see if we can do it. Oh no, our beloved, our, <laughs> our beloved tip board. <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> do you go to bed at night? Well, we're not getting any information out of that kiosk.
what kind of ride did Walt Disney put his daughters on and sat and watched them ride and got to thinking and came up with the idea for Disneyland inspired by his experience watching his daughters ride this. I had an unbelievable day <laughs> with you without my phone. 19 rides we rode without the help of Genie Plus, with not a single Lightning Lane reservation, without a single individual Lightning Lane reservation. We waited in line and got to ride 19 amazing rides. I didn't realize how stressed out I get about Genie Plus making booking my next Lightning Lane reservation until I had to put my phone away, until I wasn't allowed to use Genie Plus, I realized that it really stresses me out. And I do spend a lot of time looking at the My Disney Experience app and figuring out which ride I'm gonna book next. This was a great exercise in taking a moment, taking a whole day to just breathe, to look up, to look around and really appreciate the moment that I'm in, not constantly working like it's a sporting event to get to the next moment. Because guess what? We achieved pretty much everything that I would want to do today with you uh, without having to use Genie Plus or paying extra to skip lines. But enough about what I think about this day. What did you think about the no phone day? Would you like to try doing a no phone day on your next Walt Disney World vacation? Let us know in the comments below. And would you like to see us try this out in other parks? If you liked this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And now go watch me try to ride all 17 thrill rides in Walt Disney World in one day. See you next time.